Good morning. I've just started the video looking at the wrong angle. Hang on, how unprofessionally YouTuber of me. Right, okay, so we're going to do some phonics first, and I think we're going to carry on where we left off the other day, so we're just revising our phase five sounds. The first, or the sound that we're going to do today is going to be I, but it's spelled I-E. Okay, so if you could put that in the middle of your board. There it is, I-E. All right, and it's a digraph look, so I'm going to underline it, okay? Don't forget when we're writing these single words to do your sound buttons. It just helps you to learn how to sound them out. When we do our sentence or when you write a sentence as a part of a story or something, you don't have to do sound buttons under every single word, just when we're doing the words on their own, all right? Okay, so using this I, let's start off fairly easy. Let's write the word pie. Mr. Stanton will eat the pie. Pie. P I. There it is. And like I said, I'm going to do my sound buttons underneath the word pie. There it is. If you can write the word pie, you can write the word tie. I will wear my tie when I go to work. Tie. T I. Now, just as a a side, a side note. When I was doing my handwriting session the other day, I was saying about using that pre-flick, wasn't I, when we do our letters. I don't do that when I'm doing my phonics because otherwise I don't want to go and kind of detract from the sounds that we use, from the letters that we use. Okay, so I do print when we do our phonics, but the rest of the time I use that cursive style. All right, and that's, you should try, kind of try and get into the same routine as well. All right. Okay, pie and tie. Now we're going to go a little bit longer with our words. Let's try and write the word fried. Fried. I like to have fried chips. Fried. 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 There it is. So I'm going to do my sound buttons. Fried. Fried. Ooh. It always gets so sunny in here. It's always dull until I come and start recording and it gets really sunny. There you go. There's the word fried. If you can write the word fried, you can write the word cried. Mr. Stanton cried. Cried. I don't know why. He just did. <laughs> cried. Cried. There we go. There's the sound buttons. And finally, going with this little group of words, let's write the word tried. Now, we had a word the other day that started with that tr sound. We had trousers, didn't we? Tr it doesn't start with ch, but you can hear there's like a tr sound in there, but you have to notice that second sound. Tr, tr, tr. All right, so what, what two letters work together to make that tr sound? Let's write the word tried. Tried. Tr Tried. She tried her best. Tried. Tried. Okay, so we've got pie, tie, fried, cried, tried. Okay, let's go for three a little bit longer words now. Not really, really long. So here comes our final three words. Single word. Single? Single words. The first one is going to be replied. Hello, replied Bob. Replied. 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 There it is. Uh, let's write the word denied. That's not a word that we use very often, is it? Denied. What does denied mean? Hmm. Do you know? If you if you deny something, then you um, you disagree with it. You say no, 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 no. So denied, Mr. Stanton denied that he picked his nose. It would be me saying no, I didn't pick my nose. I deny that I picked my nose. So denied is like going against saying no. All right, denied, denied. Den I denied. All right. And the final word, spied. Spied. <gasps> what? 
have I just spied over there? Spied is like when you know you're something, isn't it? All right, like a spy. He would spy something over there, so he would say, Psst, look what I've just spied. Spied. Sounds like it's got a b in there. Sp spied. It's not as a p p p spied. Let write it up here. Let sp eyed. Spied. Sp eyed. All right. Okay, let's angle that so no sunshine is on any of them. There are all of our single I words today. All right. We're just going to use a couple of tricky words. So if you could get all of those on your board, keep them on there. I'm going to rub mine off so I don't confuse you, but keep all of your I words on there because we're going to use them in a minute to write our sentence. Okay, so hang on. I'm just going to clear mine off. Okay, so our tricky words this morning then that we're going to use, we're going to use one that we should have used a long time ago, but we'll revise it. That means relearn it and remember it. We're going to write the word, oh, like if you're shocked by something, you say, oh, don't you? <gasps> oh, so there it is. That's how you'd spell it, the word, oh, all right. We're also going to practice and remember the word, they. You would have practiced that in reception, but we'll just practice it again anyway, the word they. So it's going to be T-H to make the th sound, and then the A comes from E and Y, all right? Not really a tricky word, because we know that this is th and this is A, all right? So it's just a word that you should just be able to spell, okay? So we've got O and we've got they, and then finally, this one is a tricky word, because you can't sound it. If you try and sound it, it sounds completely wrong. Let's write the word people, people. Look at all of the people people if you try and sound people it looks like it says peuple all right there it is look so we've got o oh, they people we're going to be using those words in a minute for our quite long sentence all right o oh, they people okay so get those on your board as well write them underneath all of your i words and then they'll just be there for you to refer to okay right i'm just going to clear mine again right here we go then so our sentence today like i said it's quite a long one I have broken it up into two sentences, but I'll explain that more in a second. But let's just count how many words we've got today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven words today. If you've kept all of your I words and those three tricky words, that's nearly all of the words ready for you, okay? So you should be all right. But we've got eleven words. Now, like I said, I've kind of split this up into two sentences. The way that I've done it, the first word is going to be, oh, like that, like an expression of surprise and shock. That's going to be my first sentence, just the word, oh, and I've done it as an exclamation as well, like, oh, all right, so that's my first sentence. I'll even help you, look, so of course you start a sentence with a capital letter, oh, that is the first sentence, okay, oh, look at that, wherever I aim it, all right. Now, the rest of the words are your second sentence. It says, oh, people denied they cried when they spied a fried pie. Okay, so that's why I said keep all of those I words on there. Let me just read that sentence again. Oh, people denied they cried when they spied a fried pie. I don't know why they would be upset over a pie that had been cooked in a different manner, but there you go. They they were upset, but they said they weren't. Oh, people denied they cried when they spied a fried pie. So, the next word, people, is of course going to start with a capital letter. I'm going to write till I get to the end of my line, then I'm going to start a new line. Maybe even write till I get to the end of that one, then start a new line. I'm going to have finger spaces between each word. There are no proper nouns in here, so you don't need to have any capital letters, apart from at the start of the sentences. And of course, it's, this is a statement sentence. Remember how we chopped the board up the other day? This is a statement sentence, so it's going to end in a full stop. I'll write it with you today, okay, so I can help you along. Unless you want to be independent. If you do want to be independent, brilliant. Wow, you're going to do so good in year two. Let me just read it again if you do. Oh, people denied they cried when they spied a fried 
pi. Have a go at it on your own. Go on, just pause me now and have a go. But I'm going to write it. First word, people. 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 Now, I can't write the word denied in this little space. So I'm going to start a new line. Denied. Oh, people denied they... We're going to fit it in. Cried. Ooh, just. When. They. Spied. A fried. Pie. There you go, and there's a statement sentence, so I've got a full stop at the end. Here we are. Oh, people denied they cried when they spied a fried pie. Okay, that's our sentence for today. So try and get that down, send it to me. Try and do it independently first before just copying mine, won't you? All right, see you in a minute, and see you in a minute.